Welcome to East Surrey Paediatric Department. I'm Debbie Pullen. I'm one of the paediatricians uh, in the department. Um, I'm one of 14 consultants, all of which are general paediatricians, but each have a sub-speciality interest. There are four main areas in paediatrics. There is the Children's Assessment Unit, or CAU as we call it. There is Outward Ward, which is the inpatient ward. We have the neonatal unit and then we have outpatients. Within the department, we have a 10-person middle grade rota and a 16-person ST1-3 to rota. It's a mixture of paediatric trainees, clinical fellows, GP trainees, an FY2 and an ED trainee. This is Outward Ward, our general paediatric ward. We have 23 inpatient beds here, which are made up of general medical paediatric patients, also shared care with um, surgery, orthopaedics and ENT. We also have a day case unit which has seven beds for day case surgical procedures. We have a children's assessment unit, which is an eight-bedded ambulatory unit. Um, it accepts acute referrals from the emergency department and from GPs and other healthcare professionals. We also have some complex patients who have a paediatric passport and that gives them open access to the service so they may present as well. The idea of the assessment unit is obviously to assess acutely unwell children and ideally keep them there for a period of observation, hopefully preventing overnight admission if possible. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the child, child assessment unit. Hi there, we uh, take children here from 0 to 16. We have tests and investigation that's done. It's a very, very busy unit. We work very much as a multidisciplinary team here. The nurses and the doctors work in coordination together. We help each other out. It's a fast paced unit, so we have to work very quickly to get through our workload. Um, hope you come and enjoy being here with us. The neonatal unit is a 20 bedded unit. We have intensive care cots, high dependency cots and special care cots. We keep babies born 27 weeks gestation and above. We're able to provide short-term intensive care, so we may ventilate babies for up to 48 hours. And we can provide high dependency care in the form of non-invasive ventilation and TPM. If the babies need more intensive care than we can provide, or if they're born before 27 weeks gestation, then we would treat and stabilise and then we would transfer the babies to our tertiary level units which are based at St Peter's Hospital in Chertsey and at the Trevor Mann unit in Brighton. My name is Dr Reza Pediatric Ridge. I'm working here in Astoria Hospital and um, here is a neonatal unit. We have three rooms. The first room is intensive care unit for distressed newborn baby. Beside us, there is a delivery room, so we can shift the patient directly to our intensive care unit, which is staffed with a lot of mechanical ventilation and other equipment required for such patients. When the patient gets recovered, so we can transfer the patient to other room, side rooms. We have nursery two and three for less intensive care for such baby. I'm Fiona Watkins, and I'm one of the sisters on the neonatal unit, and this is transitional care. We have um, three bed spaces up here for special care babies. They're kept up here on their own um, with staff looking after them. And then the transitional care part means that the parents can come up here um, and mums can sit um, and care for their babies on their own. This is our dedicated paediatric emergency department. Um, we, we ask to come down here and see the unwell children who've been referred in by general practitioners or any unwell children who've been referred to us by A&E who aren't well enough to come up to the children's assessment unit. Um, these children have been triaged and treatment can be started by the emergency department staff but we're often asked to come down and see them and start um, the process of treatment. Um, they are a base here, we can see them here, there's two HDU bays and we also have a dedicated paediatric uh, resus bay. We have a very busy paediatric outpatients department the clinics are divided between East Surrey Hospital and Crawley Hospital. We have lots of general paediatric clinics, but there are also subspeciality clinics. We have a number of visiting consultants from Brighton and from the London hospitals, including the Brompton, the Evelina Children's Hospital and St George's Hospital. Most of the subspecialities are covered, so there are endocrinology clinics, gastroenterology, cardiology, paediatric surgery, etc. There are also opportunities for the juniors uh, to hold their own clinics so that at SHO level, ST1 to 3, there is a prolonged jaundice clinic uh, which they will lead. 
At registrar level, there are two clinics per week that are run by the registrars, so that gives them a chance to see their own patients. It is supported by a consultant for any questions or queries that they may have. We have three areas of working generally. We have Outward Ward, which is our general paediatric ward, Child Assessment Unit, which is where the acute admissions come through, and um, the neonatal unit. Um, and during the day, there's a registrar on each of those units. And the role of the registrar is to obviously support the consultant, um, but also support the trainees as well, the, the more junior trainees and the SHOs. So on a daily basis, um, on the general paediatric side in the neonatal unit, we'll do a ward round. Um, uh, we'll be involved in, sometimes the registrar will be able to run some of that ward round, other times it's kind of backing up the consultant. And then we start on the jobs that need to be done. Um, and that will include blood tests, cannulas, lumbar punctures, there's lots of practical procedures that we get into in, in paediatrics and we're here both to do those and also to teach the, tra the junior trainees how to do that as well. Um, the registrar also carries crash bleep um, and will lead the crash team with a consultant in the day and at night obviously there's no consultants here on site so you'll be the leader of the paediatric emergency team and also the neonatal crash team. I think paediatrics is really crucial as a GP. I've learned that in the last six weeks quite quickly. A day in the life of an SHO doing peds, it starts off with handover uh, at nine. Uh, that can last about 40 minutes on occasions, going through all the patients that uh, have been on the ward and the new patients that have come. Um, there's a nice big discussion so everyone's aware of all the patients and then the ward round starts. Um, we go around seeing all the patients um, obviously documenting the findings and the history um, and making it all clear what the plan is for everybody else to follow that through. Um, the ward round um, has been quite lengthy in my experience, usually finishes around 1.32pm uh, and then we start the jobs. Uh, but the, the shift on the ward is quite a long shift, it's from 9 to 9 so there's still plenty of time to get all the jobs done. The crucial thing is to get all the investigations um, requested early on, as soon as the ward round's over, and then um, try and do all the other jobs, um, and then lastly, do all the discharge summaries. Throughout that course, there's obviously questions from nursing staff and pa parents as well that want you to answer some of the uncertainties that they encountered during the ward round. So, yeah, it's a busy shift actually on the ward. You'll either be on an on-call on a day, which is a long day, which is 9 till 10 at night, um, and you'll, from 5 o'clock, cross-cover the general side and the uh, neonatal side. And then at, um, at in the, for the evening shift, we have two registrars on at night. One covers the general paediatric side and one covers the neonatal side. And that's to give, with, with an SHO, obviously, um, and that's to give us lots of backup. We also try and work very hard here to work as a team. So if one side at night is very busy, the paediatric side is particularly busy, especially in the winter, um, that the neonatal side will come and help, um, whilst obviously leaving that unit covered. There's always loads of opportunities to learn here. It's a really busy unit, but you see some really interesting cases as well as your standard ones that you should be learning to manage by yourself more confidently through your rotation. In terms of formal teaching, there's three times a week teaching in the morning at 8.30, um, which is normally run by the registrars or consultants. And then there's teaching um, on a Tuesday afternoon, we have a ground round, so any interesting patients from the neonatal unit or outward ward are discussed with multiple consultants. And then there's normally a case presentation by a junior doctor, and then a registrar might do teaching on that subject. There's also x-ray meeting on a Monday. Sometimes there's simulation training that the consultants run as well. Um, and there's also safeguarding meetings occasionally. There's lots of opportunities and most of them, some run weekly, some are more on a monthly basis, but you get a teaching rota every month from whoever's running it at the time. In terms of formal teaching, we have a sort of a set rota um, 
which is really good. It's kind of um, consultant and middle grade led. So there's an opportunity both to learn and to, to take part in teaching as a middle grade. Um, we also have um, lots of clinic opportunities for registrars. There's a dedicated registrar clinic twice a week, which you go and you run the clinic. Um, and also there's an opportunity to sit in any of the consultant clinics. And there's a lot of subspecialties who come and do outreach clinics here um, from London and from Brighton. So there's an opportunity um, when the rotor allows for registrars to go and sit in on those clinics too. I've learned already that working with children is totally different to working with adults. There's certain things that don't even come into your mind actually and then after you've discussed a case with a registrar then you think oh actually I hadn't considered that because these things don't classically happen in adults and I've spent I think six years just working with adults. <laughs> so um, I've learned that actually paediatrics is really essential in GP even little tips like yesterday I was in CAU and we saw a two week old who came in with fever with an unknown source and my registrar said as a GP Jasmine make sure you always refer these in <laughs> don't try and manage them in the GP community when they're so young um, so just little tips like this that you, you you pick up along the way are actually having through, through discussion um, I think are proving really useful <laughs> We do appreciate that starting paediatrics for the first time can be quite daunting and it is a steep learning curve but we do provide a lot of consultant support. So amongst the three main inpatient areas, so children's assessment unit, outward ward and the neonatal unit, we have a separate consultant who is present nine to five. They have no extra fixed clinical duties so they are always available for questions to review patients, whatever you need them to do. So there will be a separate consultant for each of those areas. There is also consultant presence in the hospital, usually on children's assessment unit, be able, but able to provide advice throughout the areas um, until half past nine at night, Monday to Friday. In terms of the consultant on call rotor, there is a separate consultant on call for paediatrics and for neonates. At weekends, the consultants are present in the morning until 1 p.m. So there is a consultant ward round every single day throughout the week. We will also try to feed back to you on ward rounds after handovers, um, if you have seen a patient. Uh, however, the unit can get very busy. And if you want any particular feedback on something that you have done there and then, or just after the ward round, then please, of course, just ask the consultant who was working with you at the time, and they will be happy to give you that feedback. So it is a busy unit, but if you're keen to work, you'll be well supported by the nurses and or your senior staff. Um, nobody minds if you have questions or you're not confident with anything, but if you're at least willing to try and to learn, then you'll get on really well here. Um, it is busy, but it's manageable. Um, and as I say, there's always a registrar with you. There's always a consultant on call and the consultants are really approachable here as well so you if it is busy they may have to come in but they'll come in and they'll support you it's enjoyable it's interesting sometimes it can be a little bit stressful but you'll learn a lot here it's a really busy unit we see a lot of children and a lot of pathology but it's also an excellent opportunity um, I've been here as an SHO and a registrar and I've, it's the place I've learned the most um, that's just by seeing the sheer weight of numbers and the, un the unwell children and the pathology that comes through um, we're very well backed up by the STRS which is the um, intensive care team from the Evelina and also the neonatal transport service which is the intensive care team for the neonatal side who back us up for our unwell children I find that there's always lots to learn every day I'm learning new things um, as a GP trainee we're expected to write a number of learning logs a year so actually at the end of a shift I'm quite keen to write up the new things I've learned I'm not having to search my brain for things to write about because actually there's new things I'm learning each and every day this is a really fun place to work um, we have a really lovely team the nursing team on both sides of the general side and the, uh, the neonatal side are lovely they will support you um, it's a very nice multidisciplinary team. There's um, a group of um, clinical nurse specialists who will also are very helpful and will help learn and, and train. Um, the consultant body here is lovely. They are very friendly and very approachable. Um, and um, yeah, I've come back several times. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good place to work. So we very much look forward to welcoming you to the department and we hope you have a great experience with us. Mm -hmm.